Hey everybody, Maddie Ice. Just uh, sitting here in a cemetery where a lot of us will wind up if uh, we don't wake up. I feel that there's going to be roundups, you know. Um, there's a couple of possible scenarios. You know, they've gotten, you know, they do polls all the time and they've gotten half of the population at least to believe in aliens, to believe in UFOs and aliens. So if you got half the population that believes in UFOs and aliens, you got all the population that believes in space and asteroids and all that nonsense. Um, that puts you in a good position. That puts you in a good position to be able to say, hey, you know, what? because I was thinking about it. Why, you know, why go round everybody up or let it be seen, let other people see that there's hostile things going on, you know, uh, a lot of hostility in the streets, fighting in the streets, people resisting, right? But not if you use your best weapons, which would be the media, the news, you know, get everybody scared, but don't worry, not to worry. We have underground bunkers that we've been digging for years for this because we knew it was gonna happen and it's all to keep you safe. So everybody get in the hole, get in the hole. The aliens are coming, get in the hole. There's a huge comet. It comes every however many years, it comes every 30,000 years and we knew it was coming and it's gonna crash into us. Get in the hole. Because we love you and we will keep you safe. If you ever have anything flash across your TV where they tell you to get to the nearest Walmart because that's a pickup point to bring you to the safe underground shelter, don't fall for that shit. Don't fall for that shit. It's probably under underground gas chamber. Fill it with water or fill it with fucking gas. Kill everybody and then fill it with concrete. Job done. You don't even have bodies on the surface, you know? Like, it kind of makes sense to me. You know, it's a, it's a downtrodden, fucking morbid, doom and gloom type scenario. But from what I can tell, there's a fucking group of people, and I know who they are, but I'm not about to start saying just yet that there's a group that is in control. They've always been. They've been in control for a long time. And they've been lying to people and coming up with false flag type things for a long time. They're good at it. They're good at it. And I think the best way to annihilate a whole group of people that's in your way would be to use the news media in the threats of some sort of cosmic event. That's why you hear presidents mentioning it every now and then. Like Ronald Reagan used to like to mention it a lot. He would just throw it in there. He'd be like, I wonder what this world would be like if we all had to come together against a common threat. You know, so my question really is, or my, you know, my idea is what do we do? What do we do? What do us you know, not necessarily flat earthers, but people who are awakened to the bullshit. What do people who can smell the bullshit? What do we do? What do we do? We can't go occupy anywhere or go do a peaceful protest. That won't work. They'll be, they'll be. We'd have to organize it through social media, and they'll be there waiting for us with the turtle suits, ready to put people in jail or whatever. You know, and I'm finding out things that they're. They're trying to push laws to make it so that if you say that climate change is is a, is fake, you know, if you speak out against climate change, you can be penalized. They're trying to push these laws. You can look it up. Now, are they going to lump flat earthers in with climate change deniers and start locking us all up? I mean, we already have created a complete profile of ourselves on Facebook, who we are, what we like, where we go what our views are i mean how hard would it be to just go round up those people that they have marked anyways peace to all i'd like to see some stuff in the comments let's come up with a plan